The objective of this video are we are going to talk about what is root directory, home directory and absolute path. Second, we are going to see the practical example of root directory and the home directory. Third, we are going to see how to access the root directory and home directory using the command line interface. So if you are unfamiliar with some of the basic commands of CLI or that is called command line interface, so you can watch this video that is called command line interface basic commands. The link for this video is given in the description. So do check the description. Now first we are going to talk about three things absolute path, root directory and home directory. Let's begin with the topic. Before understanding the topic what is root directory, what is home directory and what are absolute paths, we have to understand that our operating system organizes the folder structure in three format. Means there will be a parent and there will be a child. So there will be parent and child relationship between the folder stru structure. Now let's get to the point that what is root directory. Root directory is the first and topmost directory in the hierarchy. Or you can say it will be the parent directory for all the child. The next question is what is home directory. Home directory is the directory which is given to the user so that user can store their information or their files or their user information in it. What is absolute path? Every file and directory have absolute path which is based upon the root directory. So as in the diagram this is the root directory and this is the child directory. Now if you want to reach the child directory so what you have to do is that with the help of root directory just add the name of child directory in front of the backslash. So this is called the absolute path c colon backslash program files. Now if you want to reach the intels directory which is present inside the root directory so how you have to reach that intel directory is that you have to write c colon intels so this is the absolute path for this directory that is called intels and this is the absolute path for this directory that is called program files now if you want to reach the directory of users you have to do c colon backslash user now you have reached the directory user with the help of root directory this is the root directory c colon backslash as you can see that inside the users directory there is one more user directory so if you want to reach this directory how you have to reach the directory this one is that now you have to add one more label by writing backslash user so you will reach this directory and the absolute part for this directory is this c colon backslash users backslash user so this is was absolute path which is based upon the root directory. In this topic we have learned what is root directory, it is the topmost directory, what is the home directory, it is given by the network or Unix operating system for the user to store information about it and what are the absolute paths. These are the paths which are based upon the root directory so that we can reach particular directory of files consisting in the root directory. Let's see practically what is root directory and home directory. As you already know that root directory starts with C colon. So this is the root directory right here. And inside this it will contain child directories because root directory is the parent directory. Click on the root directory. Now you will see various child directories available. We have seen in the diagram also that we have windows, users, program files and intel as a child directory for the demo purpose. Now you can also see that our operating system is organizing the folder structure in a tree format. When you click the local disk C column means the root directory you see is child directories right here. It is also shown with the help of an arrow that the operating system is organizing the folder structure in a tree format way. So when you click this arrow you see various other directories also. And when you will click this arrow also, then you will see various other directory. So this is the tree format, parent and child relationship. Now this is the root directory and this is the home directory is available here. This is the user directory where user can store their personal information and various kinds of information for them. So this was root directory and home directories practical example. You have seen that there is a root directory also and the home directory also. So if you want to reach the home directory from here all, how you can reach is that you have to use cd change directory and use that title symbol. 
radial symbol is present above the tab key. This is the radial symbol. Use it and press enter. Now we are inside the home directory. Back to the home directory. Now if you want to jump back to the root directory, how you can do is that cd backslash enter. Now we are inside the root directory. Now if you want to jump to the home directory, how you can do is that cd use, use title symbol hit enter. Now we are inside the home directory. So that's how you can change between the root directory and the home directory. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, write down in the comment section. And if you think that this video was good, then do share the videos to others and subscribe the channel for new videos like this. And if you think that there are other topics on which the video is to be made, then write that topic in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.